the elder, to the lady chosen by God, and to her children, whom I love in the truth. And not I only, but also all who know the truth, because of the truth that lives in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father, and from Jesus Christ the Son, will be with us in love and in truth. Now, it has given me great joy to hear that some of your children are walking in truth, just as our Father commanded us. And now, dear sister, I write to you not a new commandment, but one that is with us from the beginning. I ask that we love one another. And this, this is love, that we walk in Christ's commandments. And as you, you heard from the beginning, his commandment is this, that we walk in love. Now I'm telling you these things because many deceivers who do not acknowledge that Jesus Christ came in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such a person is the deceiver and the antichrist. Watch out. Watch out that you do not lose what we have earned so that you may receive your blessings in full. Anyone who runs ahead and does not continue in the teachings of Christ does not have God. But whoever continues on in the teachings of Christ has both the Father and the Son. If anyone, if anyone comes to you without this teaching, do not take them into your home. Do not welcome them. If anyone welcomes them, I have so much more that I want to write to you, but I don't want to use paper or ink. <sighs> Instead, I hope to get to visit you and to see you and talk with you face to face so that our joy may be made complete. The children of your sister, who was chosen by God, also send their greetings. The second book of John, a letter. <clears throat> 